What's up guys, Giver here, and uh, here we are. We're at the third um, and final installment of the six salon box opening for the month of, what month is this, October. Um, so, I've still got our six salon box, this last stack. I've still got all the cards out here. I haven't gone through them. I haven't really sorted anything. Um, so, in case you're new to the channel what we do is uh we open the box i go through it uh you know pull out the things that i need for sets or play play sets or whatever and then um we give away the rest so let's go ahead and get these opened I haven't pulled anything too great so far but hopefully our luck will change Rallying Roar, Stormfleet Aerialist, uh, at Zoken Archer, and a Primal Amulet, which is a flip card. So, instant sorcery spells cost one less. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, put a charge counter on it. There are four charge counters on it, or more. Then uh, you get to transform it, and the land is this Primal Wellspring. Adds a man of any color to your mana pool. And when it's spent to cast an instant or sorcery, uh, copy that spell and you may choose new targets. So that sounds kind of cool. So far, we haven't hit any of the big money cards in the box. A dark duskborn sky marcher, lookouts dispersal, sky terror, and a Gishath Sun's Avatar. Trample Vigilance. Hey, seven six. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put dinosaur creature cards into the battlefield and the rest on the bottom. So that guys pretty mean oh and he's mythic not a rare so we'll throw him over there let's see another lookouts dispersal drover of the mighty call of call to the feast and regisar alpha other dinosaurs have haste. When here's the battlefield, you put a little 3 3 dinosaur into play. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. I'm getting a lot of dinosaurs this, uh, this opening, which dinosaurs are pretty badass. So we got a perilous voyage at Zoken Archer, Dead Eye Plunderers, and another. Burning Sun's Avatar, I swear. I think we might be at the point where we're giving those away. Already, and a foil costly blood. Where are my foils? Oops. Boop. <clears throat> All right, back. To it. Kite sail freebooter. Sleek schooner. Ooh, that is sleek. Odapec Huntmaster. And a Ingrath's Marauders. If a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. Pretty cool. It's one of those cards that sound cool. But then you see you're paying like seven mana for a four four. Yeah. Okay. Ruthless Nave, Dusk Legion Dreadnought, Rotting Looter, and an entrancing melody. Gain control of a creature with converted mana cost of X. And we have a 
foil rare rampaging Ferocidon. It's kind of cool. Sorry if I'm sniffling. I've had allergies. Killing me. Mowed grass today. Been in bad shape ever since. So. We now have a Sentinel Totem, Fiery Cannonade, Imperial Aerosaur, and Arguel, Arguel's Blood Feast. Fast? I can't read. Um, pay two life, draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have five or less life, you can transform this into Temple of Aklazots. Um, Adds black to your mana pool or sacrifice creature, creature, and you gain life equal to its toughness. So, haven't heard a whole lot about that flip land. You know, all, all I heard about before, before the set was released was the green one. Now all I hear about after the set's released is the blue one. It's kind of funny how things work that way, isn't it? Pillar of Origins, Lightning Strike, Bright Reprisal, and Settle the Wreckage. Exile all attacking creatures target player controls. That player may search his library for that many basic lands, put those in the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle their library. So, um, put that into there. Stormfleet Arsonist, Slice in Twain, Emissary of Sunrise, and Deep Root Champion. Merfolk Shaman. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Deep Root Champion. I think we're out of mythics, so I'm not I'm not not too hopeful for any mythics, but I'm hopeful for some good raiders. So we got a Wily Goblin, Emergent Growth, Bellowing Aegisaur, and Fathom Fleet Captain. 2 1 with Menace. Whenever he attacks, if you control another non token pirate, you can pay 2. And if you do, you put a 2 2 black pirate token into play with you. Firing Cleric, Sky Terror, Charter Course, and Dragon Skull Summit. Dual Land. Enters tapped unless you have a mountain or swamp. Give you a black and a red. If I'm not mistaken, that was my promo card from the pre release. Last pack. Got a steadfast armosaur, Bishop of the Bloodstain, an air elemental. We have an unfriendly fire foil. And oh, oh, nice. Nice for the last pack. There we go. Search for Ascanta. So if you don't already know, this is probably the most hyped up um, flip card in the set after release. Um, the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You put, you may put it in your graveyard. Um, then if you have seven or more cards in the graveyard, you can transform this bad boy. When you transform it, you can tap it for a blue, or you can pay three and look at the top four cards of your library. Reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Super powerful. I mean, you're, you're digging through that deck finding exactly what you need when you need it. This card is uh, is pretty good and it's worth quite a bit. So that was a good way to end the box. Um, 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get all this stuff cataloged, get it put away, and then I'll be back to see what we've got to, to give away. Um, we'll talk to you guys in just a second. Peace. All right, guys, I'm back. And while for you, that was probably uh, one second. To me, that was two days. That was a lot of work. I've, I'm at the point now where I order um, these KMC Perfect Fit sleeves in 30 pack <laughs> quantities. And uh, yeah, I just opened this not too long ago and you can see how much I got. I'm gonna end up breaking myself up just buying Perfect Fit sleeves, but the game we love, right? So anyway, let's talk about that box. So that box started off pretty, pretty uneventful, but I don't know guys, I kind of feel like it, it ended on a, on a high note, right? Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm kind of new to the game still, but it felt to me like that last half of the box was, or that last third of the box was pretty good. Um, so surprise, surprise, um, the money card that we pulled out of this box is where's she at there it is was this bad boy right here the search for as content um so the word of the for the giveaway this month is going to be as conta um go ahead post a comment in the video description or in the comments down below and um just use the word as conta and you'll be entered into the giveaway as long as you're a subscriber. So make sure you subscribe. And uh, talking about the giveaway, what do we have to give away? Well, I will answer that for you. It's nothing, um, nothing groundbreaking or earth shattering, but you know we got a stack of cards here, um, a lot of commons, all different colors. So we got the white, the blue, the black, the red some green, we got a few artifacts, even some land. Um, we've got, you know, demolishes. If, if anybody's watched my video on, on how I organize my cards, I had demolishes from Kaladesh, so pff, I didn't need demolishes from this set. Same thing with Hijack, didn't need any of those. Those go straight in here. Um, got some tokens, that kind of thing that we're going to be giving away here. And also one thing that I thought was cool, I mean, maybe not everybody's going to think is cool, but uh, so Stone Quarries um, from Ixalan. This was actually a dual land that uh, is exclusive in the Planeswalker deck for Ixalan. But uh, again, I had some Stone Quarries from a Planeswalker deck back in, I think, Kaladesh. So I only really needed one for the Ixalan set and one uh, for my play set. So I got two of these to give away. So if anybody's like me and they want to collect uh, all the cards from the set, this is kind of cool. If you didn't want to, if you don't really feel like uh, buying the Planeswalker deck, you know that's two eighty nine out of two seventy nine. So hey, you can go ahead and um, enter in to get them here to finish out the set. So yeah, so that's what we're giving away. It's it's pretty much all commons here. So again, if you're new to the channel, um, you know, all of the, the giveaway box openings, anything that's left over, I give away. Commons are for subscribers. Um, all you have to do is make that comment down below. Um, once we get to the point on Ixalan, like we are with Kaladesh, where I'm opening um, uncommons, maybe even rares that are extra for me, then I'll give those away as well to my Patreon subscribers. So check that out in the link below if that might be something you're interested in. I um, also figured since we split this video up into three parts, let's do something fun. So in the third video, search for Azconta was the uh, high price. But go down to the second video and the first video and watch that video. I'm gonna be doing this drawing on the, somewhere around the 29th, 28th of the month. Um, but watch the first and the second video and tell me what you think on the day that I'm gonna do the drawing, what the most expensive card that I pulled in that video is, and then put that comment in that video's 
description. For an, if you're correct um, on the day of the drawing, then that'll give you an extra chance to win uh, this prize here. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I've got a post. Uh, if you're interested in the Patreon page, um, again, you can check it out below, but I've got a post on the Patreon page for the Patreon um, supporters to actually pick what the um, November box is going to be. So if you've got a uh, box that you'd like to see me open, um, you know, there's your chance to, to throw it out there. Um, also, you know, I've opened a lot of Kalash, so if you want the giveaways, or and look, we're already at Ixalan, so if you want the giveaways to be more substantial, then that'll be your chance to get on there and say, no, you SOB, uh, I want you to give a better giveaway, so I want you to open another box of Kaladesh, or I want you to open some more Ixalan so that you'll have more extra shit left over to, uh, to give away, that kind of thing. I don't care. I'm just doing this for fun. So anyway, I feel like... Uh, we did pretty good that box. We're about 87% complete with the set. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, get off here, post this video onto YouTube. And I'm thinking we've got some other things to open. You know, I got some boxes of Kaladesh that I'd really like to open. I'd like to try to see if there's an uh, invention or another Chandra or something like that in there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open some more boxes. Um, I'm definitely going to open another box this month. I've also got a lot of cards to put away from this collection that I bought. So anyway, now I'm just rambling. So anyway, don't forget guys, um, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We got to keep this, keep this channel growing because I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. Um, we'll talk to you guys later. Be excellent to one another. Peace.